Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. We are talking about viral videos that have brought the internet by storm today. And before the break, we actually had Infaz and we had a bunch of crazy people also who've taken Sri Lanka into the viral video league. And uh, of course, um, next up we have a little very, very funny and interesting video which was done by our own Jason oh, and thank you. <laughs> featuring thank you. Jahanar, the phenomenal Jahanar, if you know. <laughs> and of course, uh, featuring a bunch of zombies. Yes. A couple of zombies. Um, yeah. A bunch of zombies, actually, <laughs> um, who are actually featured from the MCS Downs crew. Yeah. yeah, and lots of Sri Lankan people started Park Street News and it was quite interesting. All right. So let's uh, go and check out my video, <laughs> which is it's pretty embarrassing for me to introduce it, but check the video out. Last survivors. <laughs> Swept the country within days. Come with me if you want to live. It was a virus like no other. You fool! The virus is in the Kotu! You ate it, you become one of them. <laughs> this 2013, brace yourself for the most anticipated curry based zombie film. Are we the last people on this island? Do you know anyone we can trust? I know a few! because Jay, what ha really happened was Jehan came down and we literally just wrote the script in one day mm -hmm. and we're like you know what let's shoot it tomorrow we shot it and pretty much came out with this we edited it the next day as well yeah released it before the the new year's and then came out i don't know it was fun it was for me it was fun to do i'd like to work with Jehan, and we just met up and did it so it was fun it was fun stuff that's the point of i, I guess to do a video you, you don't really need to plan like yeah. a lot you know just do, get the guy film it Put it up. That's pretty much it. And you expected this kind of response? Uh, not <laughs> like I know it's a bit cliche if I say uh, not really, but I kind of sort of did yeah. because Jehan is a pretty big, you know, personality, mm -hmm. and he's pretty well known in Sri Lanka. So I was like, yeah, yeah. I kind of did expect something quite big. Um, anyways, uh, speaking about viral marketing and all that, we've got a specialist in the studio. Yep. How Hi. are you doing, Jehan Selvanayam? Doing great. <laughs> Good morning to you. Morning to you. Morning to everyone. Yeah, starting off, um, what do you think of that? What do you think of what Jason uh, just did? <laughs> love the video. Oh, actually, uh, I was a huge fan of Michael Jackson. The last bit actually made a lot of sense. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, shucks. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Please do go on. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, um, 
the viral marketing, I know that you you know a lot about it. Yes. What do you what do you call viral marketing? Well, uh, as much as I would like to say, you can actually sit and plan a viral video. Mm -hmm. It's very tough. Uh, you really can't sit in a boardroom of a company and say, "Hey, I want to make a viral video." Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to do that. It's about actually looking at the moment, capturing something which is relevant, and just going ahead with it. If you look at the top. 10 videos globally mm -hmm. or even in Sri Lanka it's about having those videos which are relevant you don't need a high-end camera you can even shoot with a camera phone I think what I was mentioning about this uh, video called Charlie bit my finger oh, yeah. Yeah. it had so many views and it was just shot with a camera phone yeah uh, it's about trying to capture those moments right uh, when you try and associate a brand with the video it's really hard in terms of to try and actually get it because mm -hmm. people don't like to share it yeah, so Chad, just tell me, how is viral marketing pretty much different from, you know, internet memes or social media marketing? What, how is it different? Uh, well, how I see it is, it's like in the olden days, well, maybe about five years ago, yeah. when uh, people actually used to share videos through email. Uh, mm -hmm. When I was working in an office, I used to love actually distracting myself from work and opening those emails <laughs> and watching those videos. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically come to that. People now actually go online. Uh, view the videos and it actually gives a break. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the keys of doing a viral video is keeping it short. Uh, try and keep a very short video, less than four to five minutes, then actually you can get people's attention. Are we talking about if this was for Sri Lanka to make it or if this is for like everyone around the world? Uh, to globally, make? if you look at the most popular videos, they are very short. Okay. With an exception of one video which is Kony, which is the longest, it's yeah. about 30 yeah, minutes yeah. long. That was true, yes, of course. Uh, even I actually, even though I enjoy the video, it took me such a long time to watch it. Yes. Yeah. But most of the videos you look on YouTube are very short, yeah. uh, including Jihan's videos yeah. or Gangam style yes. or any other videos. And that's actually the popularity. So it spans from like, uh, a so like pretty much a one to five minute video is yes. your maximum. But for like, if you're a newbie, I'm guessing leave it between one minute so that people minute, won't yes. just get bored out of their minds watching a new video. Uh, if I was to make a viral video, what would you suggest that I do? Like for example, if I wanted to do something like, just for the Sri Lankans. Okay. Just like Jehan would do for the Sri Lankans that like here, what, what would you su suggest I do? Well, basically look at doing something which is uh, something which you feel passionate about and just look at something totally Sri Lankan. It can be either eating Sri Lankan food mm -hmm. and just upload the video. Yeah. Viral does not mean about getting millions of views. It's about reaching beyond your friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. So example, if you can even get a video which has 5,000 views, uh, that itself is viral in a sense. Yeah. Uh, so that was what you need to look at in terms of for going viral. Right, so um, worldwide, uh, viral videos have been, um, you know, been used as a stunt for marketing. Yeah. So, what do you think about the Sri Lankan business in that sense? Are we using it enough? Is there anything else that we can do to promote viral videos um, used as a marketing strategy? Uh, well, we can do. Okay. Companies in Sri Lanka still have not done it. Okay. Uh, they're still right now in terms of looking at Facebook and other social media channels. Right. So, what what do we have to do in order to get uh, to that level? Well, we need to create a lot of videos right. uh, <laughs> and it's also trial and error. Yes. Uh, sometimes uh, companies need to create say 10, 20 videos uh, and then actually try and help it go viral. Uh, also, don't look at high-end videos, mm. don't need to, yes. just with nowadays even your phone mm -hmm. has HD recording which Pretty you can much. actually shoot really good quality videos. Yeah. Uh, so that's actually that's the key to it. Yeah, talk about that before, um, before we spoke about this question. You mentioned that um, going viral is not about having 10,000 views or 1 million views. It's going beyond your friend circle. And we had a bunch of crazy people um, before here which uh, who actually did, the, did a Sri Lankan version of the Harlem Shake. And they went, they have 17,000 views already. And they're just a bunch of school kids. What do you think of that video? Have you seen it? Yes, I did. Okay. I loved it. Okay. Uh, well, it's about, again, like I said, if you can think of something which is unique and right. something crazy, because the reaction what you need to get from a viewer is oh my god I love this video mm. and they will actually start f sharing it on Facebook, yeah. Twitter, yeah. maybe on email. Yes. So it's looking at that concept and coming out with it. So pretty much like following trending topics mm -hmm. that's going like pretty big on YouTube would yeah. also help. Definitely. So hmm. I should give that a try maybe. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it also doesn't hurt doing a bit of advertising. Okay. Uh, because that can actually give it the initial push. You mean like putting brands in your video? Uh, well, you can actually advertise online or maybe right. you can even push it to your friends or maybe through other services. 
uh, that can give it the initial push because end of the day you'll have a if you're a newbie you'll have a huge segment out there which doesn't really know you yeah so if you can push it to them and you want it to go viral then it can actually help you does it have to have like a a shock rally to it because for example i mean i, I for me, I'm just an amateur YouTuber. I just make fun videos, mm. and there's one video that I made where I had um, how do I put this? Um, a very physical scene, um, <laughs> you know, and it, that pretty much shocks people. So, does every viral video need to shock? And that went pretty viral. Does it have to have a shock sort of effect in a video, well, or are there certain other aspects that could help? Well, you can look at either shocking or having that awe factor, cuteness. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for some reason. Cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Th yes, that's, that's quite right. extraordinary, yeah. Uh, cats work online. Cats and babies. <laughs> cats and, cats babies. and babies. Interesting. Maybe I will make babies. this into a science. <laughs> you know, cats and babies, put them together. Viral video. Yes, uh, but um, talking about tips of how to make a viral video, I was wondering, uh, you spoke about being relevant to the situation, um, capturing the moment. And then you also said that you have to have something unique. Um, and also good, just going beyond, uh, just going beyond the um, friend zone, pre uh, okay. beyond your friend zone. Plus, you also have to have a shock factor, like Jason mentioned. So, what else? What other tips can uh, you give? One um, interesting thing is actually when you create a video, you have actually it's going a little bit detail. Uh, you can actually create what your video is. You can tag it. Okay. So sometimes tag in your video mm -hmm. in terms of so when people search it, they know <laughs> what they're searching for. Yeah. Uh -huh. So example, if you create a a video with a pretty looking woman on it, maybe if you tag it and saying hot, brown, then you'll have a lot of people actually watching it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I never thought of it Just that way. Just good ideas. A thumbnail with a hot looking girl, and when you click on it, it's completely something And the title, else. which says Which actually brings me, this is funny, because this is somewhat, in a way, I mean, not to a certain extent, but it is kind of like trolling. Yes. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Like, you click on something, think it's this, but it turns out to be something else. And then you actually get people watching it. People watching. So would you say, like, would you, now we're speaking about YouTube here. Yes. Yeah. Would you think that it doesn't matter if you get dislikes or likes as long as there's a lot of views that... Uh, well, likes, dislikes doesn't make much of a difference. Uh, as long as overall you get the views. Yeah, it uh, depends on the views only, is it? Correct. Yeah, uh, well, people dislike for a lot of reasons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they can comment on who is in the video or mm. something else. Mm. Uh, the fact that you get eyeballs is something that matters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, bringing this viral thing home since we only have a bit of time left, the Jehan phenomenon. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, love Jayan's videos. Uh, I think he has actually become an informal brand ambassador for Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hear that, JJ? You hear that? He just said you're a brand ambassador to Sri Lanka. I mean, everyone online knows Jayan right now. Yes. Uh, sometimes he's known more than Sri Lanka at certain places. Actually, he was also um, featured in that video of 2012's best uh, YouTube videos, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And love the behind the scenes also about Titi Dolls. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Anyway, Shehan, thank you so much. It's been very insightful. I enjoyed yeah. this conversation. And uh, we hope to see you, uh, thank you for having me again. On. For sure. sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much for everyone for watching. Good morning, Sri Lanka. If you want to um, check us out on Facebook, visit www.facebook.com forward slash good morning Sri Lanka. I'm your host, Jason. And this is Anu. Uh, when I point, you say this is Anu like really fast. That's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Have a great day.